ChatGPT, it's amazing. I have a lot of videos that talk about it and how much I think it's great. Honestly, how much I use it, I use it daily, especially for what I'm doing coding, I'm doing any kind of ideas, any kind of custom writing. It's an amazing tool. There are times when I wanna punch it in the face. I know it doesn't have a face, but if it did, I probably would wanna punch it. I'm Jordan Hansen from Cobalt Intelligence and Beyond Banks. Today, we're gonna go through some of the things that the ChatGPT sucks at. We're gonna talk about some of the ways you can massage it, maybe make it work better for you. Hopefully this helps. So you're gonna see some, not code really, but we're gonna see some painful parts. Maybe some tears will be cr c coming out of my eyes as I get frustrated with this. Already, I'm annoyed. This is wrong. It's not doing this correctly. That's crazy. This is driving me crazy. It's making this up. This isn't, it's not referencing the documents, that's for sure. Yeah, see, this isn't mentioned at all. It's making stuff up. Look, already it did it. it I don't care about the truth of the ending. It's making it up. I missed the part where that's my problem. I think that's it. So what we're working on today is a GPT that's based on the tool that we already created. You can find it here. We have a video showing the tool. See, it's really pretty and up there in the corner. Hit that button and you can go check it out. It is a tool specifically to help alternative finance companies, which I hope you are. That's what I'm trying to speak to. Help you in your business use AI, use different tools to automate your process. And what we're gonna do today is show some of the gotchas that come when you're creating your own GPT to maybe help you with those processes. So what it's focused on is helping interpret these legal documents to help answer questions. And I noticed things that were annoying as I went through this. And so I kind of want to go through this and see, massage it and see what we can do to make it work better. So for example, it's just New York and Florida. I've uploaded the disclosure laws as PDF so it can reference them as their knowledge base. And then I have also links to their relevant things here. Now requirements are always provide a link to the relevant document. And sometimes it doesn't do this and that's frustrating. And so I'm going to try some different things to see if it works better or not. I'm gonna say, tell me about the, the APR requirements in New York. Now, depending, now wait, first we watch this. Now it's immediately answering. So already I know something's wrong because it shouldn't know this. I only want it to reference the documents. So already I'm annoyed. This is wrong. It's not doing this correctly. For more detail, you can refer to the New York State Department of Financial Services, specifically, whatever. I think it made this up and it's referencing this. <laughs> This link here, we'll go there. So this is what it linked to. I don't think it's the real one because it did never, this is the one it referenced, but I think it's making it up. It's gotta be because we it never processed the thing as it goes through. So that's incredibly frustrating. And I've had the frustration. I'm gonna try it again. So I'm gonna say try again. I have an idea of what could fix this. First thing it should do is check its knowledge base because it's not supposed to bring up any of its own knowledge. It's supposed to be all from the document. Already, see, failed. It's, it's giving something out without checking the knowledge. I don't think it mentions this at all in that thing. But let's go check. Yeah, see, this isn't mentioned at all. It's making stuff up. So if we go here and we say, okay. It is not from the documents. Tell me about the API requirements in New York. It's linking it, at least. You can see a link here above, but we're gonna just try to run this right here. Interesting that it's doing both at the same time. That's probably not what it should be doing, but that's okay. Look, already it did it. I don't care about the truth in lending out. It's making it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna like this. This is one thing I've seen that kind of can help. Also, kind of a funny thing here. Look, take a deep breath and double check your response before answering. I'll get rid of that. But I think that's funny. I always provide a link to the relevant document. Right there, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to make sure I delete that file. So I'm gonna do this before, I'm gonna download it. Here we go. Let's go back over here. And this time we're gonna upload the instructions up here. We're gonna upload. GPT instructions right there. I'll put it in there. And then I'm gonna just get rid of all these. I'm gonna say, see instructions and knowledge files. That's it. Let's see if that works a little better. Tell me about API requirements in the Florida or New York. That's crazy. This is driving me crazy. It's making this up. I mean, maybe it's not. It's by using some real knowledge, but this isn't, it's not referencing the documents. That's for sure. When I say stop. I'm gonna say stop. Let's just say update. Does that make any difference? I don't think it does, but we'll try. Tell me about API requirements in New York. Okay, so that's all wrong, right? This is all wrong. So we need to improve these instructions. What if I get rid of this? I'm just gonna get rid of this right here. Knowledge, you shouldn't do anything else. Check, yes, look, it's checking its knowledge first. I had to get rid of the instructions. That's really frustrating, but whatever, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. 
it should be checking its knowledge back first. And obviously it's not gonna be amazingly fast, but it's getting better. Sometimes it's better than others. Okay, that looks good, uh-huh. I don't know if it's mixed stuff up. We'll go see if I can see in here. United States. Aha, or actually, this is all real stuff. It should reference section 600.03. Okay, this is correct, but it doesn't have citations. So can we do this better with this? You will provide citations. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna delete this again, and try it over. And we download this guy. Prompt engineering. This is why prompt engineering is gonna be a big deal because as you see, sometimes it's garbage. Sometimes it ignores what you tell it to do and how to emphasize and prioritize, that's a tough one. Tell me about APR requirements. Okay, so we have to, as this runs, this was correct, right? All this was correct up here, but it's not really helpful unless it is actually citing the relevant section because you don't know if it's making it up or not. And we also gave it instructions for a link, which is helpful, not as required to me, but the fact is it's in the instructions that it's not using it. And so that's something that is a big pain. Okay, there we go. All right, come on, keep going. Yep, why didn't it cite? No one knows. Relevant. Answering this correctly. I'm gonna tell it this. Is this too dire here? Okay, here we go. Make sure to follow the instructions. This is like, what you tell your kids? Okay, I want this one. I guess I forgot to delete it, so I guess I got the first one here. We'll go like that. Make sure it's all uploaded. Tell me about the APR requirements in New York. Aha, if it's searching the knowledge, that's already a win. And I think it's doing it because it doesn't have any instructions. I'd, I'd not let even let it have instructions here. It has to go over to the knowledge. Now, I don't know, does it check all of them at once? I don't know what it's doing here, if it does them all at once or not. Is this bad? Why can't you? No, that's not bad. I clicked it, it works. At least it has a link. There we go, this time it did it. Oh, it failed. It was doing it right though. All right, try again. You're doing right. This is definitely a frustrating thing that happens. We know it. Oh, look at that. New York, the requirements for disclosing that are specified in section 600.3. Yes, that's right. Okay. Is it fine? It's the cost of credit. Measure of cost of credit expresses a yearly rate. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Expresses a yearly rate. Yes. Yes. You're making me so excited. About. 1026, is that real? Yep, 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 okay. No link though, huh? Why didn't it provide a link? Don't need all of these, I'll get rid of that one. What if I go like that? Okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of that guy. Upload files. There we go. Tell me about API requirements in New York. Let me try again. It seems like the instructions attached to knowledge files works better. Okay. All right. This looks good. This is all good. It'd be nice if it had 600.3. Well, I did not do it. Now let's go like this. You can see sometimes it doesn't follow instructions. And what we saw is that if you add the instructions as knowledge files, a lot of times that seems to work better. It kind of forces it to look at your knowledge files instead of just skipping that part. 
still struggle with it sometimes, providing a link as we want it to. And that's something I really look forward to in the future as we go through and it gets updated and improves. If this has been helpful for you at all, hit that like and subscribe button and we'll talk to you later.